Today's video is brought to you by a good friend of mine and a great friend of the channel's Chris Protein, an old war vet of mine. Ooh. Uh, that's a weird way to say that. Yeah, it start. was, but I'm gonna cut to something. <laughs> Morning, Sergeant Major. How do you know what kind of damn day it is? An old friend of mine who we were in the military together, he donates $25 a month, which is oh, absolutely oh. mind-blowingly amazing. And with that money, we're able to buy meals like this. So this meal today, we're gonna say, is brought to you by our friend, Chris Protein. Do it for the kids. All right, kids cuisine. Oh, bro. What? <laughs> I didn't have to stick an extra little corn kernel on there just to disgust me a little more, bro. We serve food here, sir. Looking pretty good. <sighs> good choice. I don't trust that in your hand. You're gonna make me touch it. Wait, hold on. You about to put that in there? Bro, there's plastic on there still. Silence, shut up. Shut up. Okay. Oh, no, no, you're in this one. <laughs> Woo! So this segment is called Brew and Review. So normally you say, welcome to Brew. <laughs> welcome to Brew and Review. When I'm on the internet, I'm watching Brew and Review. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's delicious, dude. Mm -hmm. Two conflicting ideologies today on number six, which is children's frozen food and adult microbrewed beer. That's your favorite thing to mix, kids and adults, right? Why would you say that? <laughs> you seem pretty confident on the internet in terms of what you wanted to do. What was your plan tonight? What are we drinking today? Today we are drinking ourselves some Tail Chaser IPA, Sleepy Dog Brewing, bringing it all in the house with this beautiful little dog on there. What, 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 what breed are we dealing with there? <laughs> Breed we got going on. Oh, there. that is definitely a terrier golden retriever mix. Wow, what a beaut! Wouldn't what you guys say? Beaut. Wouldn't you say that's like that's like Lionel mixed with Ooh, like I a think is... or a or an uh, uh, an owl uh, uh, a howler? Uh, what are those called? Wolves. Owl. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. he's traveling at warp speed through space, as can be told by the uh, yeah. The lines. And much like dogs are, he's confused. He's mm -hmm. like, hey, where's my owner? You know, hey, what the hell? That little boy's got to think. You got a pet. You got a responsibility. If your dog is lost, you don't look for an hour, then call it quits. You get your ass out there and you find that fucking dog. And then you saw it on the thumbnail uh, today. We're taking a step back into our childhoods because we're still children and having Kid Cuisine's bikini bottom chicken breast nuggets. You yeah. with macaroni and cheese sauce. Oh boy, vanilla pudding, corn, and graham sprinkles. Oh yeah, we got our Grammys. I'm about to snort some of this. Yeah. So this uh, we were in the frozen food aisle and we were like, I just breezed over the fact that are you actually? <laughs> Are you actually gonna do that? Oh, you what? said it so matter of fact, I was like, yeah, you probably will. Wait, they they might think that's odd. Wait, what? Yeah, so how many people comment below, I was a kid cuisine. Uh, if you've ever had, this is a SpongeBob one. Are you ready to get into this kid cuisine? Yeah, I mean, I'm not. Can you ever truly be ready? I think the thing you're really paying for is the dividers. Man, do I miss these as a kid. Do you have plates like this at home? No, but I, I'm familiar. Okay. I'm familiar. We no. ate off of, we just had a pilot in like an old sock and oh, okay. it was a real weird situation we had. Um, so, Garçon used to bring my dinner. Pierre? Uh, right, well, it was his brother. It was after Pierre got a better gig oh. with a better family. Garçon came in, continued to butler for our family. Nice. And we had these, so. My teeth were starting to grow fur. I'm gonna start with one of these uh, nugs. SpongeBob nugs. Who you, is this Patrick? This looks kind of like Patrick. You can start with Patrick. It looks kind of like Patrick. I'll start with, uh, bro, what is this? It's cancer. That's <laughs> a fact. And a what divider. character does this represent? Not SpongeBob, right? No, that looks, got arms. that looks like. Guys, who, who, what character is this? I got no clue. That looks like Goomba from Mario Party. Yeah, it does. All right, this is the Kid Cuisine chicken nuggets with rib meat. <sighs> Cheers. I really wish you didn't throw that in there. Ooh, it's a soft. Very soft. The breading's actually really good. It's not wow. bad. I wish it wasn't so much like mush. This really takes me back to this exact flavor. Like it's like chicken nuggets at the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. You never had that taste anywhere else. This just takes you right back to being nine years old. Wow, this is super watery. Corn's super bland. Man, parents really take advantage of the fact that you don't know how to cook yet. I know. They really do. The second you learn how to cook, you're like, bro, this is not worth it. No. Alright, I'm gonna try some corn, I guess. You can't mess up corn, right? Obviously. 
Macaroni and cheese isn't too bad. Macaroni and cheese might be the best part. Okay, I'm gonna try that now. I'm gonna try to dip my chicken in the mac and cheese to give it a little bit of flavor. Well, that was tasteless mac and cheese. <laughs> Compared to the corn, it tastes like I just ate soggy cardboard. Compared to the corn, to me, that macaroni and cheese tastes like a banquet hall. Like it's like, <laughs> um, that corn is the most bland nothingness. Yeah. Um, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I'm gonna have one more chicken. Bro. I'm gonna put a little, what is this? Uh, that's Graham sprinkles. They go on the pudding. How do they not have mashed potatoes? Well, they do on some of them. This carb just happens to be ma macaroni and cheese. Oh. So, oh. my immediate thought is this is straight trash, but when you're seven. Yeah, you haven't experienced. And you can throw a whole meal like this in the microwave for yourself. I mean, you're the king of the goddamn world, right? Yeah, this Man. pudding is so not that bad. Honest to Garsh. Honest to who? Garsh. It's hot pudding, huh? Oh, it's like just straight sugar. Yeah, yeah, that's probably why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> how many people is this grossing out? Just me? I'm honestly so surprised at how much I don't hate this. It's not, it's not good. as bad as I thought it was yeah. gonna be, because as a kid, I don't even think I was really into this. We've had other foods that were made for adults, particularly on this section, that I haven't, like, couldn't eat. Yeah. Pepperoni, Italian sausage, ground beef, and pork. Meat lovers lasagna, cheers. Stouffer. Cheers. Oh man, no, not for me. Ugh. Minimally processed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> In what world is this the minimal amount of processing? In the SpongeBob realm. Now quit wasting my time! I will tell you what, this is a nice little IPA though. This is the, dude, the highlight of this freaking episode. We're talking about how spoiled we are because we have a Benny's Beverage Depot mm. right by where we film. And it's just like world-class beers in just aisles and aisles. Oh yeah, it's like a, just a little man heaven. It's kind of nuts. Actually, and I don't we, know why I said that. Ladies like beer too. It's all human heaven. Yeah, I've been around some girls that have taken some swings at me after a couple of beers. <laughs> <laughs> they won. This is a good beer, dude. Good, good beer, beer dude. Good, dude. Eric, drum roll, please. Yeah, I still got it. Thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you get the kid cuisine, chicken nuggets, macaroni and cheese, corn, and pudding meal. Oh! I'm buying one of these, the next time you're drunk in my house and you want a little thing to snack on, I'm gonna force you to eat that. Can I explain? Yes. So, Actually, I'm, what I'm- What if I said no? Would you just be like- I'd be like, oh, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basing this on- You being like nine? No, for, yeah, kind of. Like if kids are picky eaters and you're getting stuff in the frozen food aisle, I think this is like something that they would dig. Like if me as a 30 year old is like, Oh, okay, I get it. Dinner time is fun time with SpongeBob and Patrick. And now for a limited time, Kid Cuisine has chicken nuggets shaped like SpongeBob and Patrick. I think I'm just endorsing it for that reason. I, of course, am never going to buy this points. again. You make some good but points. But if, if the speculation is, am I going to buy for it the again, then I lied to you. Then I, I did this and I should have done this. But I'm doing it for the market. Relative to the market that it's branded for, that yeah. makes sense. And look, at, a good look point. at this little cutie on there. I mean, Come on, it, it got a bunch of, like a, like a cereal box, it got stuff to do right here. Yeah, that is, I want to see that. Can no. I see that? Wait, give me, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they, oh, it's like a hidden hidden picture, I think. Scavenger hunt. A scavenger hunt? You gotta find a jellyfish and a Patrick and a sponge. I mean, this is a really easy. Hidden picture would be the way to say it if you're like, you growing up getting all the off brands of stuff because you guys are poor. You'd be called hidden picture game. <laughs> <laughs> poor bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Edible, but barely. Mm -hmm. I would never get that for the rest of my life. I hope I never find myself in like a hostage situation where this is all I can eat or right. something. Like, and that you might. The end of days comes and this is all I find at a Walmart that I'm raiding to try to survive the zombie apocalypse. I just don't want that to happen and I'll be upset if it does. Yeah, you kind of touched on it before. It'd be a little bit better if you were drinking. So sure, I'll have a drink. I do wish I would've gotten blacked out on this before I ate that. We still can, ready? <laughs>